Good morning, everyone. Well, actually, I must be honest, it's not really the morning. It is Tuesday afternoon. And uh, for those of you who might think that we always shoot these videos in the morning, the truth of the matter is we usually prepare them the day before. And today I'm out on my usual Tuesday early afternoon prayer walk. You see, for those, again, that might not know my routine, you may or may not like and be interested to know, is Tuesday mornings, Tuesdays is my sermon day. And in the morning, I study the scripture, I study the text, then I go for a walk, and I pray, and I really think about the way in which uh, God is leading me. Hey, there's a train. I guess I better get off the tracks. We'll pause this and pick up the discussion later. Okay, we're back. The uh, train has passed. Perhaps that wasn't the uh, best place to uh, video oneself. I actually thought if I went on the tracks, there would less likely be people around and I would not be distracted. So that uh, didn't quite work out as I had planned. Anyway, as I was saying, it's Tuesday. I prepare my sermons on that day. So if you're ever looking for me and you can't find me, it's because I try to dedicate this day uh, to that preparation. Anyway, as I was reflecting this morning on last week's sermon, I was thinking about uh, this idea of the spiritual gifts. And as I thought about it some more, it occurred to me something very interesting in the scripture. Have you ever noticed that there really isn't a whole lot of information that helps us to understand how to discover your spiritual gift? It doesn't talk about discerning it, or acquiring it. It just speaks about using your gifts, assuming that you sort of already know what they are. Now that can be helpful for many of us who maybe aren't too sure about what exactly is true for us on this subject. Well, I want you to notice something very interesting. If you flip in your Bibles uh, to 1 Corinthians, uh, we noticed that despite the points that I just made, Chapter 14, verse 1, urges us to strive after spiritual gifts. So it's not something that just is innately true about us. It does tell us to strive after it. So even though there's no process of discernment given, it does tell us to pursue it. So that's very interesting and perhaps somewhat unhelpful, you might think. Well, here's the observation that I realized this week. You'll notice in chapter 12 that almost the entire chapter is dedicated to the discussion of spiritual gifts. And then in chapter 14, the same is true again. Almost the entire chapter, more than 60 verses dedicated to this issue. But you'll notice it skips a chapter. And what is that chapter that is sandwiched in the middle of the two sections on the spiritual gifts? What's that chapter? 1 Corinthians 13, which should be perhaps well known to most of us as the famous love chapter. So think about that. You've got spiritual gifts. You've got a chapter all on love, loving one another, and then another discussion on the spiritual gifts. And in fact, if you look at chapter 14, 1, it not only tells us to strive for the gifts, but what does it begin with, firstly? It says, now I'm going off memory now, but something to the effect of uh, love one another or pursue love and seek after the spiritual gifts. So it connects that issue of love with the gifts. If you read through all of the different verses throughout the New Testament about the gifts, they're not meant to honor yourself. They're not meant for you, it's not like some Star Wars Jedi gift of doing cool things with the Force. It's not some Marvel superpower thing you can fly around. The gifts are given primarily to love God by loving others. So, if you're not sure what exactly your gift is, my challenge for you today is twofold. Number one, stay off train tracks. Number two, you want to be used by God? You want to see God work in our church to bring growth? I mean, who doesn't want to see that? 
well then we need to be using our gifts and if you're not sure how to step forward with that think about love pray that you would see opportunities to share the love of Christ pray that God would give us a burden uh, that's on his heart what does he love Lord help us to see the things that you care about help me to see this day how I can step into that how I can love others and when we do that when we make it our way of life to pursue the way of love as uh, Paul talks about elsewhere then God will show us the unique ways that he's allowed us to be able to do that things will come to the surface things will emerge for us that help us to see ways that we can serve but the spiritual gifts are intimately connected with love so again this week a reminder from last Sunday pray for the wisdom and strength to see where God would have you love for him today he'll give you the gift he'll give you the strength but let's be his people of love this week Lord help us be with us go before us grant us that wisdom strength and courage needed we pray in Jesus name amen have a great rest of the day